I'm now joined by Armand Petrosian, co-founder and CEO of Colesk. Such a pleasure to be back with you today. So great to be back here, man. This is uh, always my favorite week of the year, so couldn't be, couldn't be happier to be back at Summit. Great to hear. Let's dive into it. Some exciting recent news for you with your Series B funding. How does it feel? It's incredible. I mean, I, I think what we've seen in the venture capital markets is that money's harder to come across right now. And us accomplishing the Series B really hats off to the team for their amazing work and stellar performance on growth over the past 12 months as we went into the funding round. And it's been absolutely incredible. Couldn't be happier with the investors that we came up with and the, the team we built around this business. It's great to see Snowflake Ventures joining in that round. How does this capital help shape Colesk into the future? And what will the impact be for your ecosystem, for your clients and partners going forward? It's a great question. And we, again, couldn't be more thrilled to have Snowflake as an investor. There's an element of this that's around the business. And there's also an element around this for my own personal sentimental value of having Snowflake invested in our company. And really what message it sends, the signal it sends to the ecosystem, to our customers, to our prospects is that Coalesce is here to stay yeah. as a business. And what we found is people objectively recognize our technology as the superior one in the landscape. And as an early stage company, sometimes there's some concern around, is this company going to be around for the long run? And coming out of the Series B with the amount of capital we raised and the investors that we have around the table, it just gives everybody reassurance and confidence that Coles is here as a business to stay for the future and forever. An exciting next chapter. Core to everything you do at Coles is transforming data together. As you look out at your client base, what's their top priority and how is Coles adapting to meet their ever evolving needs? Also another great question, as I'm sure you know, AI is such a popular word right now and every company is trying to figure out what their AI strategy is. And really at the end of the day, unless you've got your data foundation layer built properly, the AI is meaningless. And with Coalesce, what we're doing is we're democratizing data development the same way Snowflake democratized data access so that any data practitioner that's interacting with Snowflake is so much more productive than they ever could be with whatever alternative they could consider, really empowering everybody within an organization, within an enterprise, to be so much more successful at building that data foundation so that they can unlock AI use cases for the future. An exciting next chapter indeed. Now I want to get slightly personal with you if you don't mind. Sure. As Colesk embarks on this next chapter, how are you thinking about the team around you? And as you scale, how important is it for you to stay true to your overall mission and founding principles? Yeah, so being at Summit, being around our go-to-market team, I, I get reminded every morning, meeting with them, hanging out with them, talking with them, and if I was ever in a bad mood, I could just go talk to our team and I get uplifted because this team is so extraordinarily talented, whether it's the marketing team, the sales team, along with R&D, but the entire cast we've built at this business just makes beautiful music every day and it inspires me to continue. As far as our core philosophy, as our core company mission goes, we've been so fortunate to have so much clarity on what we want to build and how we want to go about serving our customer base and our ecosystem of customers, that really, that hasn't changed at all. It's the same principles, it's the same philosophy, and as we continue down our path as a business, it's been funny to see the competitive landscape shift and try to mimic or imitate what we're doing, despite us being an earlier stage business. And if anything, it's reinforcing that we've got the right strategy, we've got the right formula. We just double down on what works and continue to move forward every single day and put one foot in front of the other. It's very much a top-down approach and coming as the founder and CEO, it's great to hear. Now I want to focus to today. The AI buzz is clearly all around us here at Snowflake Summit. What are you hearing and what's your top priority over the coming months? Yeah, the clear thing that I continue to hear from whether it's a data leader or a data practitioner is that businesses want to do more with data faster. They want to be more efficient. They want to be able to take raw data and get it to the point that it's ready for consumption. Consumption could be business intelligence, it could be data science, it could be AI, obviously that's a big popular thing right now. And we want to make that process of raw data to data readiness as smooth, fast, easy as possible for as broad of an audience that could ever imagine interacting with Snowflake's data cloud. I love it, always a pleasure sitting down with you. How can the audience learn more? Go to our website, coalesce.io. You can hit me up on LinkedIn. We'd like to make ourselves available regardless of if it's me or anybody on our team. So feel free to go there. 
Go to Snowflake Partner Connect, you can get access to the product, get started building anything on Snowflake within seconds. Such a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining me on Data Cloud Thanks, Now. Thanks, Ryan. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green, and this is Data Cloud Now. Thank you.